You do? Put it on here. Good try. Can I try? Ready? Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're going to be talking about Mia's eight to nine months i believe so usually i do these at the end of the month so for example she's 10 months now so i would film it when she's 11 months however we did skip a few months because not much was different or happening but this month there is a lot to catch you up on so we're gonna hop in and chat a little bit more about what mia has been up to in the last two months and before we even get into it i just want to mention the toys mia is going to be playing with are from Love Every because we literally love everything from Love Every. Mia is currently playing with a block set and I did set it up for her. So it has the wheels, the pull string, all that. And her cousins love this as well to play with. But I have her block set here. She's gonna be playing with that. And then also we have a new kit. Love Every, if you don't know what they are, they have age appropriate toys specifically designed for children's development so this is the nine to ten month box this is going to be perfect for mia and we haven't opened it yet so i'll let mia do the honors she's going to dig in and she's going to play with some of the stuff that we got along with her block kit i assume that is going to be a popular item she's been really into the blocks so we're going to go ahead and open this up ready <gasps> What's in here? So this is the play kit from months nine and 10. It's the Explorer kit. Oh my gosh, look at all your new toys. Oh, I absolutely love all the colors. I think it is so nice. Um, and like I had mentioned, all of Mia's toys are pretty much from Love Every. She plays with her Love Every toys every single day. One of the toys that she has become really good at is the one where the ball drops into the little hole and rolls out the other side. She has mastered that over the last few months. So I just modeled the behavior to her and she learned it super easily. And now she does it all the time with her cousins. And it is the cutest. What's this? <gasps> containers? You love your containers. She has the water ones. Um, as well but these ones are super cool and different um oh okay okay are you good yeah, that's it. yeah. it's okay So while we took a little break, I did read over some of the activities and stuff that is included in the play kit. And Mia's going to play while I just talk a little bit more about what she's been up to. So something that has happened actually at 10 months that I wasn't sure if I was going to include, but it happened yesterday. I have to include it because we're so excited. She has started to crawl, which is awesome. Um... She's been like stretching herself out and reaching really far for things, but she hadn't officially started moving. So she is now on the move. We're super excited about that and probably a little naive to be that excited because we're gonna have our hands full, but we are super excited that she is rocking and rolling. Um, as I was saying, she loves these kits and these toys. They help her learn so much. So her grasp is really good. She loves to um, like grab things and she picks up the smallest fleck of nothing on the floor. Somehow she finds it and picks it up, but she just loves to play. Yay, good job. 
You making music? Okay, I guess I gotta get pretty low so you can see her. Okay, so I wrote out some things that she's been doing. Um, so at her last appointment, which was at nine months, I believe, she was 29 inches long and 16 pounds. So she is growing pretty good. She is on track and there's no concerns there. We are still breastfeeding, right? Do you love the booby? Yes. She still enjoys breastfeeding. Um, we're not seeing any signs of her wanting to wean off anytime soon, so that's good. Um, and I'm still all for breastfeeding. She has also gotten a tooth. So she has one little tooth in the bottom on okay. her left side her bottom tooth has come through and that was a difficult time for us we definitely saw some struggles with that she had a fever she was very upset um so we kind of knew something was going on and figured it was teething um so we're past that which is nice and as you guys saw in my last video we definitely went through a sleep regression as well so that was fun times but I think we're past that as well um go get it baby that's this see this it's gonna go on there watch look ready this goes on there oh can you take it off oh uh, She is still very obsessed with our dogs um, and they are coming around to her, I think. And now that she is crawling, they're gonna have no choice. <laughs> Do you like those? Oh. Oh, can I see? Thank you. Your turn. So all of these toys are geared towards learning, like I had mentioned. Um, I think I told you guys, but there's this one toy that she has where the ball goes in the hole. And I modeled that to her. And a lot of these, you kind of do the same things. So you show them what you can do with the items, like so. And then eventually they catch on and they'll start doing them as well. And it teaches them different motor skills and stuff like that. She is definitely into copying people. So she now will copy someone if they cough or if they laugh. And we just think it's hilarious. <coughs> oh, are you okay? Got that cough? And she babbles a lot. She does long strands of babble and kind of has conversations, which is fun. What are you doing? Uh, Who's in there? That's you, silly goose. In this book as well, it kind of goes over different things that your babies should be doing. So I'm going to just read through some of them quickly and mention some of the ones that she has been doing. Um... It says differentiates between people they have and have not seen and she definitely has been doing that lately even just between myself and Brandon she favors me sometimes and sometimes she favors Brandon it just depends on her mood um, but she definitely doesn't feel comfortable going to everyone anymore and kind of just wants to be around her usual people she was scooting around um she would somehow move from point a to point b without crawling and she would push herself up into a seating like a sitting position and then stretch herself really far to grab an item and then she just kept doing that over and over um and then eventually yesterday she just decided she was going to crawl she hasn't started pulling herself up onto any furniture or anything like that just yet um like I said, she babbles a lot and she uses her voice to get attention and she is pretty expressive. Are you expressive? Yeah, you say how you feel. 
she has been loving music and she'll sit there and bop up and down so we would sing like go mia go mia um we just make up our own songs but a song that she's really been loving is the wheels on the bus so that's one of her new favorites the wheels on the bus go round and round round and round round and round oh okay bye she loves to like bang items on the floor and rub them back and forth to hear the sounds um, and notices that when things hit the floor they make loud noises there she goes she's just she's just ditching us something else that she does is she takes she'll take all of her blocks out of the bin and then she'll put them all back in and I think it's so funny. So if I took all these blocks out, she would refill the bin for me um, and put them away. So it's super cute. She loves to put stuff back in its place. Okay, thank you. Let's take them out. There you go. I'm gonna put it back, okay? Really? What else do you like to do, Mimi? Yeah. What else do you like to do? What else do you like to do, Mia? What's your favorite food? Oh, thank you. That's so nice. Her favorite food currently is meatballs. She had that for dinner last night and she had three whole meatballs. Yeah. Mia. What are you doing? She clearly knows her name pretty well now. Are you Mia? So her favorite food is meatballs. She also eats puffs and all that stuff to kind of have as a little snack she loves water she chugs that back no problem um, and she uses a straw for that but she's been doing that for a while um, she grabs her spoon and fork if she ever has a spoon and fork she really doesn't use those much um, as often anymore because a lot of her food is more solid so we just chop it up and put it on her plate right do you know the signs for all done and milk? She is still learning sign language. She knows signs for, for all done and milk. Um, for more, she doesn't really sign more. She kind of just smacks her high chair table and signal, signals to us that she wants more food. Um, so we're still working on that one. She did have a little strawberry, I believe, birthmark is what it's called on her back and that's starting to fade a lot. It's been fading over the last little while. And yeah, it's getting really light now and kind of breaking up. So I think it will be gone um, in a little while. It's fading pretty good. She absolutely loves the water. She loves to play. She doesn't mind if the water gets in her face. Um, we also go on little bike rides, so she loves that. She sits in the front and I have a seat for her, so we go on little bike rides. What else do you like to do, Mia? I don't know. She's really good at independent play. Um, I can just set her down and give her some of her toys and she'll sit there and play um, and doesn't really get upset. She was falling over a lot and bonking her head, so I did get her this little helmet that is cushioned around her head so that it protects her from when she falls, but she has learned quickly how to take that off. So we don't use it as much as I wish we did, but what can you do, right? What can you do? So we do have a lot of toys out right now. I'm gonna put some away and we're gonna focus on a few of them and I'm just gonna model some learning for her. This box is perfect because it is for the actual um, age range that she's in right now. So she's in the nine to, nine to 10 month age range and this is the nine to 10 month box. So it's perfect. 
Um, we're gonna play around with some of the new items and I will leave everything linked down below for Love Every. 10 out of 10 would recommend. It gives you a list of things that your baby should be doing, things that you can be doing um, to help them learn um, what all the different toys do and activities that you can do with them. So it's super cool. Um, and a lot of their toys are Montessori inspired. And it's just nice to watch your baby learn and explore different things without having to think too hard about what to do for them. Um, it's super awesome. The play mat that she's sitting on right now is also from them. I'll have everything linked down below so that you can grab it if you want it as well. If your baby's at a different age, don't worry. They have play kits for ages from, I think, newborn all the way up until three years, I believe. Um, they have toddler kits that they just came out with, so I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure the age that it goes up to, but it goes up pretty far, and they are super cool. That is Mia's eight and nine month update. She has been growing like crazy. Her one year is coming up far too fast, um, but that's just the way things go. Um, for now, we're just gonna enjoy baby Mia and play and teach her different things. Um, so thank you, Love Every, for sending us these awesome play kits and toys for her to explore and learn new things. And before we go, I did wanna talk a little bit about me. So we are 10, month, 10 months postpartum. Um, my hair is still falling out, but up here it is definitely growing back. Uh, I have a lot of baby hairs that are super short, but I'm happy those are growing back. I've started taking biotin and iron pills because I'm definitely low in iron. So I'm trying to kind of counteract that because I think that could be a big factor of why I'm losing a lot of hair as well. Um, I am taking multivitamins, like daily ones, and yeah, I haven't been working out as much as I would like to. I'm just trying to enjoy her and enjoy the summer, but I definitely, definitely need to get back on that. But I am feeling super healthy, confident in my body, and feeling good. So that is a little update about me. But I think that's going to be everything for today's video. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll be happy to chat with you there or include them in the next one. But with that being said, I hope you have an amazing day, week, month, or year. I love you. And remember to always be nice to people. Bye.